Hello fabulous Cancer, welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2017, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have got a varied sky, an active sky at that, and this is the kind of sky that can open up all kinds of possibilities to us, that can open up all kinds of understandings, and can really free us from the burdens of the past to more fully live in the present and excited by the future. And this is certainly true for you as well in so many ways. One of the ways, of course, is in terms of all the wonderful things opening up for you and all the wonderful things that feel like they are finally moving forward in terms of your career and life purpose and the higher goals and aims you have for your life. If you have felt any uncertainty, if you have felt any delays, any resistance to you truly stepping out into the world, you truly being who you desire to be, and you truly aligning with a more loving vision for your life, well, this is the kind of sky that will bring you clarity, bring you momentum, give you progress, and really help you to feel like you are advancing in a direction that matters to you. The cosmos are very much on your side to help you to move your life in a direction that feels positively very fulfilling and bringing at least one key lucky break into your life in the process especially mid-month is where you want to watch now as i look at the sky we have a rare and supremely harmonious conversation playing out between uranus and saturn the first took place at the very end of 2016 we have this one now and another will come in November. This is the kind of energy that will define 2017, especially for you. This is that lucky break energy. You add to that Mercury leaving shadow, <laughs> Venus leaving shadow. Well, it all suggests that things really feel like they are moving forward for you in a way that pleases you very much. In the first part of the month, we have a full moon playing out. Now this full moon is happening in a romantic part of your sky. I think that this is absolutely worth celebrating and will be very welcome. This is very romantic. There's a very romantic energy around this full moon with Neptune and Pluto in your opposite sign. Now this is really, really good for love, whether it's the love that you want. I mean, really, this is the kind of energy that can have you feeling like you meet somebody who just sweeps you off your feet and sweeps you in beautiful directions that you didn't know you wanted to go until you were there. So that's very exciting. Um, but also with this, if you are in an established bond, this can make you feel like you really understand the love that you have and want to cherish it, want to grow it, want to nurture it, to feel more connected to this person that you love, especially on a heart level. This energy uh, can be very fertile, so keep that in mind. If you want to have children, that will be very possible for you in the first part of the month. You add to this the other layer, which is if you have children already, they can be the source of great blessings and great progress for you as well. They can be the source of you experiencing that sense of heart expansion as well. So at the very least, you'll enjoy their company very much. Hang out with kids that you know, that you love, because they will be the source of all kinds of getting in touch with your own inner kid, getting in touch with an energy of joy, of happiness. And that ultimately, that energy of love can open up all kinds of possibilities for you. This is also a very healing vibe as well. A lot of people found April very difficult. We did have Venus in retro, standing still, going direct, and doing so, making some difficult connections in the sky. Well, this particular full moon really is gonna be you putting that fully behind you and you fully stepping into your heart and the desires of your heart and the desires of love that you have and experiencing them coming more and more to fruition. As we move to the later part of the month, we'll have a new moon take place. Now this new moon is happening in the sign just before yours. So there's a sense of clearing out what you no longer need in your life. There's a sense of creating space for the new. Next month is gonna be a really big month for you. At the end of next month, at the end of June, there is a new moon in your sign. 
And that is really going to help you to have all kinds of bright new beginnings. But this month, already the stage is being set in powerful ways. One, of course, is that sense of life purpose, is that sense of achievement calling you. And the other, of course, has to do with limitations washing away as you step into the power of your heart and the power of love and all the different ways in which that love can be expressed. What I love about this month for you is that sense of personal connection and personal satisfaction in living your best, most creatively rewarding self. Make sure you're spending time to nurture a creative spirit now. It will serve you well and it can also serve as the very ticket to that lucky break that is promised to you with a sky this blessed and this much on your side. Well, thank you so much for watching. Get a video just like this each and every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com or AstroFabulous.com. Sign up to become one of my superstars. Superstars get instant access to exclusive and expanded video scopes each and every week. So every week, a video just like this for your sign is available instantly. So log on now, NadiaShaw.com or astrofabulous.com. Well, thank you so much for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.